Okay, peeps, welcome back. So today we're going to be talking about the Rec Shares FEPI dividend announcement, plus the upcoming dividend X dates for a lot of these ETFs that we look at here on this channel. So with that being said, let's get it. So as you guys can see here, we are pulled up on the recshares.com website. I know that a lot of people have been wondering about these, if they're ever going to have an ETF come out, if they're ever going to have a dividend come out, all of that stuff. So um, I'm there is these other ETFs, but I don't know if these pay dividends. Haven't looked into it yet, but the one that we have been looking at here is FEPI. So I have some good news for y'all. Uh, the ETF is now actually paying a dividend. If I can find it, give me a second. So here it is. You guys can see that today is the 24th. The declaration date is the 24th. If you have held these shares, hats off to you. You're going to make bank on this position. So this position as of this month is going to pay a dollar and 15 cents per share. Uh, that is the largest dividend that we have seen on this channel so far from any of these ETFs. It's even bigger than any of the yield max ETFs that we've ever seen. Uh, the good thing about this is you guys actually have still have a couple of days to get into these. Uh, well, actually, I take that back. Sorry, actually, you do not. So you would have to basically hold these shares before Monday, but that's okay. So... Um, Actually, I'm not so sure about that. I suppose I suppose if you bought on Robinhood where you can buy on the same day, like you don't have to wait for the following trading day, you might be able to get in on that day and technically hold those shares on the X dividend date. You might be able to capitalize on that. Don't quote me on that, um, but that is a possibility. So um, as you guys can see on the FEPI website here, uh, it pretty much tells you the same stuff. So it's currently sitting at 5502. We're going to take a look at the price here in a minute. Uh, the expense ratio is honestly not that bad. 0.65. I think that's actually probably the same as JEPI. Uh, not to be confused with JEPY. We're talking about the JP Morgan uh, recovery call here. So that's not too bad. Um, outstanding shares is still relatively small. Only 100,000. About $5 million in assets. So if this is something you guys wanted to look at, uh, take a look at buying, you could buy it here. Um, still getting a $1.15 per share for a $50 stock is still actually a really, really good deal, in my opinion. Um, so the next X date on this thing is uh, December 26th. If you guys were not able to get in for this month, you can get in for that date next month. So you have a whole month to basically buy into this ETF if you want to. <clears throat> so with that being said, uh, now that we've taken a look at that, we're going to take a look at the other ETFs and what their X dates are. So Curve Yield, uh, these ETFs, and I'm sure that they are all the same. I'll click on another one just here in a minute just to make sure. But uh, the X date for this, unfortunately, has already passed. It was a couple of days ago. Um, if you did hold these before then, you would have got paid 57 cents a share, at least for this ETF. Uh, and the share price is not bad. I mean, it's higher than a lot of the yield max ETFs. It's actually gone up. So we'll take a look at NFLP just to make sure that these X states are actually all in sync. Okay. Yeah, it looks like they are. So, um, if you were not able to get in before these, the next X date that you're looking at is the 20th of next month. And again, these can be bought on Robinhood or Weeble, as I'm pretty sure. I know for sure on Robinhood, but uh, Weeble, I believe that's also true. Uh, the next ones that are coming up most recently would be the Clip Crane Shares. So this is the uh, Crane Shares website. It really does not seem to want to let me look at the distributions here, so... Uh, basically, the X dividend date for this one is the 28th. So you pretty much would have, I would say, one, maybe two more days maximum to pick up some shares of Clip before they actually pay out the distribution. And then, well, you pretty much wouldn't have another shot at this until next month. So that's Clip. And then you also have the Triple QY. 
J-E-P-Y and I-W-M-Y, which I believe the Russell version is going to be paying a dividend this upcoming month. So that'll be interesting to see. So for this one, uh, it looks like the X date is going to be on the 1st. And I'm sure that's true for all three of the ETFs. So you have roughly about a week. You have basically all of next week's trading week to pick this up. Uh, do note that yesterday was Thanksgiving, so next week we should be seeing a full trading week between Monday through Friday. No market no market sessions are closed next week as far as I know. So that's the Defiance ETFs and then the Yield Max ETFs as we're taking a look at here. You have a little bit more time for these, so the X date would be on December 7th. So you'd be taking a look at roughly about a full two weeks or nine days, I would say, uh, before... Basically, you have to have shares in order to get paid from these. Uh, okay, so with that being said, we're going to take a look now at the uh, FEPI ETF here on TradingView. So what we're really wanting to look at here is kind of what the price is doing, so to speak. Um, it pays a massive, massive dividend. I mean, $1.15 is really a lot for even something that's valued at $55 a share. But a lot of you guys are probably concerned about price appreciation. So here we're looking at the price on the chart here. So it looks like it opened up roughly about $51.76 or so on that week. And we are now currently sitting at $55.24. So from the low here to the high, you would have gotten about a 14% gain or appreciation. And again, uh, we don't really have any technicals here to show you guys on this fund because it's so new. I mean, there's not going to be any resistance support. There's not going to be any price patterns like falling wedges, rising wedges, head and shoulders, anything like that. Um, no breakouts, um, you know, trend lines, none of that, because this is literally only a couple months old. We need more data than that to uh, kind of measure things out with a technical analysis. So, but on the surface, it looks like uh, very similar to the curve yield premium ETFs. It looks like there is some serious upside appreciation here. So if you guys are worried about price depreciation, meaning that the price goes down in the yield max ETFs, you could buy some of these if you wanted to, to collect the passive income and also kind of hedge against the downside in the yield max ETFs. So if the yield max ETFs are going down, and these are going up, then if you have an equal amount of both, theoretically, they should basically balance itself out. It would be break even. That's what's known as a hedge in trading. Uh, it would basically be where you're protecting your capital in one direction by planning on having something go in the other direction on the flip side. So yeah, with that being said, uh, Pretty pretty juicy dividend, I would say, on the FEPI ETF. Um, I'm actually quite surprised it's that much. I mean, shoot, we may have to buy some this month. So hope you all enjoyed the content. Um, let us know your thoughts down below if you guys are bullish on this FEPI ETF or if you like it or plan on buying any. And uh, yeah, we'll see you all later. Uh, please, uh, please like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll see you all later. Okay, peace.